Hallelujah. What a wonderful God we have. Amen. Even if you are not working, God is the one who is working. Amen. Isn't that great? Isn't that awesome? You know the very word that God has spoken to me and what he gave me is, let's all open our Bibles. Genesis chapter 1 verse 29. Genesis chapter 1 verse 29. This is what it says. Then God said. Everybody say, then God said. What did he say? Whatever he can, whatever he wants. Now God, do you know, that, do you know this thing? God has the same will that you have. Let me repeat that again. Whatever free will you have, God has the same free will. The reason for that is He made you like Him. Isn't it amazing? Like God has free will, the same free will which I have. So whatever you want to do, whatever you want to say, you can do and you can say. Nobody is stopping. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't stop me. Hallelujah. But you know, before we go, get excited, super excited. Last week, we have seen one verse from one Bible verse. Do you guys remember that? Let's all open our Bibles to 1 Corinthians 10.20. This is what it says. Paul said, I have the right to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything but not everything is constructive. Yeah, let me repeat that again. This is what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 10, 23. Paul said, I have the right to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. That means you can do whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. But the point is, is it constructive or destructive? Now here, whatever God says, let's go back to Genesis 129. Then God said, hallelujah, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it, they will be yours for food. Amen. Now what did God give man? He not only gave the dominion, but he also gave food. Now, what is the food that God gave? Remember, the food that you eat is very important. Your food basically nourishes you. Your food keeps you. Alright? Remember that. So, without food, your body cannot exist. That's the reason. So, God is basically giving a lot of importance to your body. We forget that fact. We only think your body is for you to have that nice round shape in the front and another round shape in the back. That big S. S. With the bold lettering. Bold font. But remember, God has given us, what did he give? Food. Everybody says. Man did not discover food by himself. Always remember that. Because if there is a nice, small, tiny boy, he would never, he can never know that he needs to go to a cow and get some milk. Right? God gave you, God gave you. Now the kind of food which God gave you is this. Every seed bearing plant. Everybody says seed bearing. Now the reason why he gave us seed bearing plant is because he has Kept a really nice concept in the seed. Now your seeds are like your words. Okay. Let me do a comparison. Your words are like, your, like the seeds. So whatever you speak, they are like the seeds. So your words are the basic material that is needed for you to form your future. Hallelujah. Your seed, your seed, you know, in every seed there is a tree. In every seed there is a plant. In the same way, in every word, there is a future. Your future is hidden inside you. Just like how the seed or, or, or the tree is hidden inside a seed. You know, a big tree comes out of a tiny seed. Okay. 
a big tree comes out of a tiny seed. Example, mango. How many of you have seen mango seeds? Right? A mango seed is only this much. If that's a big seed. This size. But how big tree does it come? 15 feet, 20 feet. And the radius? Probably another 30 feet. Now the point which I'm trying to make is, your words are like the seed of the, that, that mango seed. Now that mango seed, when you plant it correctly in the right soil, and you fertilize it, you, you water it, you nourish it, what happens is, the word forms into something which is tangible. You know, last week, what have we seen? Faith is the confidence. Now, what is faith? Faith is the confidence of the things for which you cannot see. Your words, you cannot see your words. But you know what? You can feel your words. Hallelujah. You cannot see your words. But if I carry a seed in my pocket, I know that the seed is there. But you cannot see the seed. Your words are like your seeds. Amen. Now, whenever you start speaking, the word, the, the, whenever you start speaking, the, you're, you're planting seeds. Now, the point that, that we need to understand is if you do not water the seed, the seed it dies away. Now, how do we water the seed? You water the seed with your actions. Hallelujah. So, basically, when God says, God not only says, but God also does. That's exactly what we spoke. You work. You're a way maker, miracle worker. Even when I don't see it, you are working. Hallelujah. Other when they get. Your words, when you speak, they are falling into your future. So when you fall, when your future, you're laying a foundation for your future. When you lay a foundation for your future, you need to start walking in that path. Now the point, a lot of folks, this is what we do. We lay the foundation in one way, but we start walking in a different way. Now when, you, when your foundation is that, and you start walking in a different path, your path won't hold. Amen. In order for your path to be rock solid, you need to walk on your foundation. Your foundation is your word. Hallelujah. Now, the reason why I said you are what you eat. Whatever you eat, that is what you are. So whenever you eat your words, everybody say, I eat my words. You become stronger with the very words that you eat. So whatever words you are speaking, Forms your future. So, now, the, now faith is this. Even when you don't see it, even when you don't feel it, you still talk about it. Why? Because you're walking on it. The only thing, people can talk about it the longer they walk about it, the walk in it. The longer they walk in it, the longer they talk about it. The point I'm trying to make is, you need to be consistent in what you speak. If you're not consistent in what you speak, and if you're not consistent in what you do, your foundation is totally destructed or destroyed. Now, this is what, let's go further. I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with a seed in it. Now, you need to remember, your future is not your fruit. Your fruit is something which is already existing. Or rather, your, your fruit is already your past. But your seed, hallelujah. Your seed, that's what God is after and that's what the devil is also after. Your seed, your seed is your future. Your seed is something which is wrapped inside the fruit. Now, for example, the video song that we did, it is, it is the fruit, it is not the seed. The fruit has already been given. It has been served. Now, the seed is hidden again inside the fruit. The seed is to do it in different languages. 
Now again, once you complete that, that seed turns into a fruit. And again, there is another seed inside it. So it's a never-ending process. Hallelujah. Now, if you look at this creativity that God has given to human beings, that God has given you the same creative levels that he has. God has given you the same abilities that he has. Say Amen. Now, when God said, and there was light, that means even when you say, there should be light. Amen. When things are not looking good, when things are clumsy, you know what you got to say. Last week, what did I say? What is that sound that we all did? Vroom. Why? Even when you don't go, sometimes you got to make the sound. Hallelujah. The RX-100, eh? You got to make the sound. Why? Because the sound motivates you. Amen. Sometimes when you're down, all you got to hear is one word from your wife saying, it all will be good. Hallelujah. Sometimes when you're down, you don't need somebody to come and give you money. You don't need somebody to come and cook you food. You don't need somebody to do something. All it takes is one word. The reason being, with that word, they're giving you the seed that you require. Hallelujah. The seed that you require. So your future is hidden inside the seed. Your, rather, your seed is your future. Your seed is what determines or how you deal with your seed determines your future. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't eat your seed. What is the one seed that we all eat in our cooking? Not the first service, guys. Mustard and coriander seeds. Now the same coriander seeds, if you plant it, what happens? You're going to have coriander. Amen. Whenever, remember, the reason why God wants you to tithe and give you give offerings is because the seed, that's the seed that you're planting. You're not going to get it. That is the seed that you're planting. Now, don't eat your seed. Because when you eat your seed, you're destroying your future. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't destroy your future. So seed is the creation of an opportunity. It is a creation of an opportunity. You create, you create. And you know what? Seed represents the next generation. Today my question to you is, how are you leading your life so you can be an example to the next generation or a benchmark to the next generation? A lot of times, what we miss out is we still pray God to give us good health, good food, good clothes. But we miss out the fact that God has already taken care of all those things for you. And what God wants you to do is just follow his word. Let's all open our Bibles to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. What it says is this. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things, what are those things? What you eat, what you drink, what you wear. All these things will be given to you. Amen. Remember, every blessing comes with a condition. Never believe the word or never believe somebody when somebody says blessing is unconditional. General blessing is unconditional. Life, air. But that extra, extra blessing requires the extra effort. Hallelujah. Now the effort that actually God, which God wants you to do is very simple. The effort is this. 
you live according to the word so when there is a red light you stop when there is a green light you go but just don't mess up with between the red and the green amen so when you, only only there are certain principles which god wants you to follow do, do, do not have sex out of marriage life because your memory is going to be messed up god always takes care of your memory because if you have a great memory you remember all those things that you did and you are going to regret about it the reason why god wants you to give you a great future so you can protect your memory remember when your memory is good your future will be great hallelujah why it is because you are light everybody say light now i want to ask you a straight question when do you mess up your memory when you do the wrong things simple now when do you do the wrong things you do the wrong things when your words and your actions do not match hallelujah when your words and actions they do not match that is the pa- that is the point where you're missing the blessing now listen to this carefully the same mango seed that i planted if i did not nourish it the, the seed is never going to sprout now for me to sprout or make the seed sprout i need to match my my actions with my words everybody say words and actions need to match say that again words and actions need to match now when the seed is inside the soil it's pitch dark you cannot see the seed is in immense pressure you know talking about pressure during the lockdown times most of us might have cooked in your home right every day breakfast lunch dinner and i also tried my hand and probably became an expert later on so this is what i have noted when you cook the meat that is tender the pressure that requires for the meat which is tender is less compared to the pressure that is required for the meat which is hard now this is exactly what the word of the lord says teach a child what the ways of the lord when he is young so when he grows old he won't wither from the path why should you when should you teach a man when he's young everybody say tender so when you are a tender chicken that's when you can mold a lot of times the meat has become hard so it takes a lot more pressure for the meat to be tenderized now the point that we miss is this when there is pressure the pressure is not bad for you rather it is good for you hallelujah the pressure is good for you reason being god is creating that pressure right now so you can be prepared for your future hallelujah see god always takes care of your future along with your past now this is something a human cannot comprehend sometimes your future and your past depends mostly on what you do right now a lot of times we think even our past is taken can no but even your past is my present right now so your present is so important remember when there is pressure in your present it is only for your future hallelujah 
you know joseph he he when, when there was pressure in joseph when he was under that pit he never quit reason being he knew that the pressure right then in that pit is for his future hallelujah he didn't think that was the end just think about the scenario how it would have been if you were captivated by somebody and taken as a slave to a totally different country not even as a refugee as a slave what do you think would you think that it's for your future would you think that it's for your greatness but joseph still believed and held on to his dream hallelujah reason being this is the word seek first his kingdom and his righteousness even in egypt joseph was still worshiping god and following his commands hallelujah hallelujah you know the laws are the same everywhere the laws are the same even in visakhapatnam hyderabad goa tenali tekkale anakapalli the rules won't change amen the rules will never change the rules stay the same seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and what happens you are going to receive the blessings of god come on church clap your hands and praise god for that now you know when you when life is messed up you know what to do what to do just know i gave the key seek the kingdom of god and live according to his righteousness hallelujah hallelujah is there a simple thing which god has given to us it is very easy to follow it is very easy to follow now i want to show you something and i want to close with this proverbs 18:21 this is what it says the tongue has the power of life and death and those who love it will eat its fruit so your tongue basically creates seeds and when you create that seed that seed will turn into a fruit hallelujah remember your tongue and your your legs should match what do i mean by that your words and your actions should match your future is in your hands your future is hidden everybody say my future is hidden within me it is not outside me it is not behind me it is not with my wife it is not with my children but it is hidden within me hallelujah 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 let's all close our eyes and bow down almighty father we thank you for this day we thank you for this word that you given to us lord we thank you for your amazing grace and your mercy oh father lord we thank you for the great word that you given to us lord we thank you for this understanding capability that you given to us oh father lord as we understand your word more and more oh god lord let us take this word in, inside our hearts and let let us take this word back to our homes and let us be an asset and not a liability lord wherever we are placed oh father our character will and should not change oh father oh lord we are ready to give up our own thoughts and our own laws for you oh god lord we are even though we have free will of oh father that free will surrenders to you oh jesus lord thank you for your act that you did on the cross of calvary and thank you for your mercy and your grace oh lord as we are preparing our hearts to give towards you oh father lord let bless each and every heart that blesses you lord bless each and every hand that gives towards you oh father lord we thank you and we love you in jesus name we ask and pray amen 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 hallelujah let's all stand on our feet and give off
of God because his kingdom is forever. Amen. They never change. They never change. Isn't our God great? He takes care of us even when we are lazy. Amen. He takes care of us even when we go off the track sometimes. Being humans. That's the reason we give, right? Whatever it might be, he's still our father. He's still our daddy. And he's there to bless us. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, you see me today carefully because I am going to change tomorrow. Hallelujah. Let's all close our eyes. My dear Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that you've given to us. Lord, as we grow more in your word and as we grow more into your presence, O oh Lord, Lord, thank you for teaching us the secrets of your kingdom. Lord, thank you for teaching us the, the way on how we need to live our life. Lord, thank you for teaching us the application of your word into our daily lives so we can live by it and we can walk by it. Lord, thank you for making us understand and thank you for making us know your will, O oh Father. Lord, thank you for giving us these amazing blessings and we thank you for this time and this beautiful weather that you have given to us. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. May the love of the Father, the grace of the Son, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us for now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you all. And it's great to see you. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. <laughs>